What is up YouTube? We are back with another video, vlog, vlog, update. Splashes on my Feeling pretty good. The body, the arm, they're both feeling pretty solid. Uh, I had two sets of 20 throws at 50 feet. The first set, I'd say, was definitely more of like a warm-up set. I was probably hovering around the mid 60s. Um, and then the second set, I used as a higher intensity set, where I where I ended up peaking at I think like 74 from 90. Um, but I hovered around the 68, hovered around the uh, 68, 72 range. Um, but the ball overall felt really good coming out of my hand. The spin was good. Um, so I'm super pumped about it. Um, but it's my first two set day at 90, which, uh, you know, it's a new achievement. Oh, the sun, it hurts my eyes. Hey guys, what's going on? We're about to uh, head to the grocery store. Why, you ask? Because there's a hurricane coming. Hurricane Nicole's making her way down to South Florida. What's the type of food called? Oh, um, non-perishables. Gotta get some non-perishables. Mainly like bread, peanut butter. No, we're just gonna jelly. eat. Jelly. We're just eating bread. Oh yeah, we're just gonna eat Toast. bread. But yeah, so just in case the power goes out or anything like that, we'll get some non-perishables. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get to our journey. We are at the Holy Sprouts Farmer's Market. Yes, we are. All right, first thing on the list. We need bagels. You guys know it as well as I do. Dave's Killer Bread. And then we actually need some whole grain bread as well. I rock with the same brand. Dave's Killer Bread, 21 grain. This is what we want. This is what we need. Now we gotta rock some uh, some nice salty meat, aka all natural, preservative free sausage. What else do we need? Looking good. Which ones did you get? I get the quick ones. You get the roll ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole grain? Yeah. The quick cook. So these are th thinner? Yeah, it's like, it's like gasoline. Nah, 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 nah. We got that. We got that roll, that roll gasoline, baby. With them rolled oats. What else do I need? Got chicken, oats, got rice. I don't think I need anything over here. Is that it? Just missing the crumble. <laughs> Just missing the crumble. All right, cool. Let's uh, check out and get out of here. Bingo, bango. Now we go get that Rocket League fuel. <laughs> yeah. How excited are you right now? Cool, thank you. Do I have your Yep, you too. Oh, they don't know what that electricity, baby. How is it? Tell me, honestly, scale one to ten. Maybe like seven and a half. <laughs> That's really good. It's good. That's unreal. Gasoline. We gotta prep for this hurricane. This weather's looking nasty over here. This is not, it's not it right there. But it's kind of funny too, because I feel like Floridians are just naturally 
like a hurricane's coming and no one is evacuating. I'm always caught up in it. What's going on guys? Looks like it's dinner time and uh, we got some food to make. So uh, come along with me on this journey. Tonight we're gonna be doing a chicken stir fry combo. We got some uh, chicken breasts that we're about to cut up and then um, we'll hit the other stuff on the way. So uh, let's get to it. So first, as you know, we like to uh, cut these tacos up. I didn't know how to do this until I met Matt, okay? Him being my roommate kind of solidified some of my cooking habits as, um, you know, a couple other people that I've lived with have inspired me. Um, another being Spencer Strider. He's the one who kind of pioneered my breakfast meal that you saw in the, uh, the last video. He was uh, kind of the inspiration with that one. Got the little first bit of chicken done, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy up. What I've been using lately is a little bit of um, tangy Thai. It is the Ocean's Halo Soy Free brand. What we're gonna do here is uh, just take a little dollop of this, fill the bottom of the uh, Tupperware, and then I'll just throw the, the chicken straight in there. And then just for an extra measure, dollop a little more on top. And then uh, we roll to the fun part. And it's time to make some rice, all right? Usually I roll with one cup of water. We're gonna get that to a boil, about a cup of rice. But yeah, once we get this water boiling, we're gonna make it happen. Let's go ahead and remove this. Boom. Throw a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, so now we got the rice going. We got the egg going. That egg's looking good. See it's nice and loose in the pan? Ooh. See it's nice and loose, moving around. You can see that. Let's gonna flip it. Gonna add a little bit of Tony Saturies. So we're gonna just, we're gonna just go ahead and set the palate with a little bit of that. Maybe throw some on the egg too. Whatever, doesn't really matter. Oh, kinda, I'm kinda liking how loose this is, so I might just throw it in there. Throw it in there now. Boom. So this is, what we, this is what we're looking like so far. Put that back on there, and now we got part three to the mix. So we cut the chicken, cook the rice, cook the egg, two eggs. Now we got the final piece of the puzzle. I usually do about half the chicken I cut up. That's about all I'm doing over here. You know, it's really just, it's, it ain't much. It's just honest work. Usually I like to get it around this point where the chicken looks a little golden brown. It's a little got, it got like a light glaze to it. So now let's throw it in here. Oh. All in all, I eat this about every night. I'm pretty textbook routine when it comes to this kind of stuff, so. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you could have guessed, I'm still on Sopranos, so I'm about to watch that. You know, gobble ghoul. We'll catch you later. Last night was the most underwhelming hurricane that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Though I have not experienced very many hurricanes, that one is definitely the weakest. We got barely any rain. From what I know of, we got wind, but like nothing crazy, nothing over 100 miles an hour. No power outages, no severe flooding other than the surges on the coast. Just super underwhelming overall. Now we're headed to Cressy, just sticking to our daily routine. So, you got anything to add? 
catch y'all later. All right, guys, it's been another day, another week, I should say, at Cressy. My lift was pretty solid, it kicked my ass. Uh, throwing today was amazing. You'll see some of that footage probably here. good day it's a good day but I think all in all it was a solid week a lot of work a lot of confusion and anxiety because of the hurricane but that's all past now and it's a beautiful Friday and you know I get to enjoy it with y'all my viewers so y'all take it easy have a good week peace I said more money more problems bring on the problems